I'm going to attempt to make the cleanest print I've ever made with this Ender 3 version 2 using a few little tricks, so stick around. Before we get into it, if you wanted to buy this printer or another Creality printer but the price was holding it back, Banggood is having an anniversary sale on Creality printers right now. I'll have the links in the description below. To make the cleanest prints that I've ever made on this printer, I'll be using a 0.6mm nozzle, 0.16mm layer height, and I'm using a solid PEI build plate surface from Banggood which takes the weight way down to only 17% of the glass. And I'm going to print this Easter Island statue which was submitted by a viewer requesting some help to get better quality prints, so let's see how we can do. For bed adhesion I'll be using glue stick and I'll be printing with PLA because it produces cleaner prints than PETG. I always print with a skirt on, it gives me an opportunity to adjust the bed level if it needs it, but I don't really find I need to do anything as long as I don't move the printer. For extremely clean prints with perfect layer alignment you should print inside of an enclosure. This keeps the temperature constant, but for this video I'm not printing in an enclosure because most people don't use one. I'm going to be printing with inner walls set to 55, outer set to 35. When printing with infill, the infill can telegraph through, so the more walls the better. But in this case, we're going to print without infill and just print with three walls. As with all of my prints, I have combing turned on and I'm also turning on coasting as well. If you're on a Bowden setup, the location for the seams might be the most important setting due to the inaccuracy of the extrusion flow and pressure inside the nozzle. Having the seam perfectly vertical will give the best results here. And of course set the seam to a corner if you can, but in this case we don't have a corner so I'm going to pick the middle of the back. The smaller the nozzle, the less visible the seam, the thinner the layers, the less visible the seam as well. And if you can fasten your printer down to a solid heavy table, that's going to be perfect. If not, adding some weight to the base will help dampen vibrations. Hopefully you can see that getting good results isn't too hard. The profile that I've used in this print is available for anybody in the description. And I'll also include the G-code for this print if you want to try this one yourself. Let me know in the comments how you think it turned out, and if you think you can do better, how do you do it? And a special thank you to my first patron, Felix Contreras, for helping to support this channel. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.